most people, and especially younger people, it's like, watch me play Red Dead. I'm a fan of yeah. that. People like yourself who make music. Yeah. Mark Hoppus, like he he plays games, but he essentially treats that like a, a Blink-182 Q&A. But then when I was yeah. watching your Twitches and thinking back to like, forward thinking, like what do you do, especially during lockdown, how do you make music, how do you connect with fans? Going back to 2004, and you make Linkin Park make an entire EP with one of the biggest rappers of all time. In what was it? You you recorded that in three days. That seems pretty forward thinking in 2004. I mean, I I'll, I'll I, there are so many other things that are less well known than that 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 are that are like stepping stones to this event. Like I we at one point we did. Um, a before we released a song, we released like pieces of audio from the song. So we didn't release like remix stems. We just released little bits and clips, and we gave them to the fans and said, "Do something with these. Figure these out. Wait, what make you your own." Do you mean do you mean Lincoln Park? Did all you Lincoln, Lincoln Park? Park so we were re- releasing the catalyst yep. on. Thousand Sons, I think it was. We gave them pieces of it, and we said, "Here's some pieces. Use these. Make a song." I called it a premix. Mm. So it's it, it came before they had never heard this song before. The song was done and mixed and ready to come out. But we gave them pieces of it. And we said, "You make something out of these. Whoever makes the best thing, we're gonna take that fan and we're gonna put them on the album. You're gonna be on a Lincoln Park album." So we did. We found a guy. He was from Poland. We we like he made this cool electronic track out of it, and we literally took his. Uh, I think we took his things. No, no, no. We gave him new things to like play around with, and then we incorporated his things into. Um, when they come for me, I think it was the song. Anyway, I might be getting pieces of this this the story wrong, but the intention is the same, which is. Like for a long time, I've realized, as have all the guys, that the relationship we have with our fans is unique, and the ability through that relationship and the variety of platforms that we exist on allow, allow us, if we're thinking creatively enough, it allows us it allows us the opportunity to do some really fun creative things with those fans and make them. Make, give them opportunities, make them feel special, let them know that we see them. Like that, you know, music, for some people, music is just about how many, how much attention can I get? Or how much money can I make? Um, I walked in, I came into music 